It all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are, building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Hi guys, welcome to the Maker channel. I'm Dave and I'm gonna take you for a tour of everything that we've been up to over the last couple of weeks. This Defender arrived two days ago. We are gonna pull this car to bits, even more so than we have already. The doors have already gone off to the paint shop. It's gonna be amazing, and it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna have an LSA supercharged engine and a manual six-speed box. We're going to give this car a full marine blue paint job. It's having a full six-point safety devices roll cage. It's having some beautiful 18-inch wheels, right? And right here is the power plant it's gonna be having. And look how just monstrous this thing is. So that's a six speed Magnum Tremec gearbox. All these linkages here, beautifully made. We're running on this box. This is a 1.4 ratio transfer case. Back to the six speed. This is a 6.2 liter LSA, supercharged fuel injected fire breathing monster. For those DIY builders out there, we have just fabricated and designed these beautiful engine mount. We offer these in DIY format. So for the self builders out there, you can use them on your engine. This is one of the diffs that is going into this car. This is the front diff. We have gone with a heavy duty ring and pinion. We've gone with a Quaif ATB. These ATBs are just, just the best in the business. They're not the cheapest, but they're by far the strongest. They're a British company, very well renowned in the motorsport industry. These diffs here were built by our friend Nigel. As you can see here, they're pegged. This stops the crown wheel from deflecting. Beautiful cases, he makes a fantastic job of these. As you can see, that ring has got some serious strength to it. The customer wanted these calipers to match his car. So we sourced these beautiful six pot Tarox brakes in the similar blue. These are an anodized blue. So we hope they're gonna be a good contrast with the bodywork. And if you thought those brakes were big, check out these big puppies. Right, seeing these in person does do them justice, but seeing them on film, I don't know if it does. Another thing that we've been working on over the last couple of weeks is axle builds. We're gonna offer a bolt-on crate axle. A bit like the Americans are doing already, we want to bring it to Britain. Here's a pair of Land Rover axles, powder coated in a beautiful gunmetal powder coat. What we want to offer is a bolt-on package. So let's say your axles are tired, worn out, and you just want to give them a new lease of life, but you also want to give them a nice set of brakes. So what we're going to offer is an axle set like this. So these are 3.54 ratio. These are going to go under a 335D110 that we're putting together. This has 16 inch AP brake kits. So four pot fronts, four pot rears. Basically 330 mil at the front and 300 mil at the rear. So this is a 300 TDI cooling kit that we've developed for our USA cars. This kit, so we've added the electric fan. Normal cars are viscous fans. We wanted to give it an electric fan to boost cooling. So basically, if the car was overheating, say, in Arizona or Texas, something where we've got a lot more heat than the UK, this kit is the one for you. This weekend, I got the front end on this beast. This vehicle is mine personally, so you can imagine every single thing on this truck is, is just going to go all out. So Red Winches have given us this winch, this front bumper, right? So we're just going to basically build the ultimate 130. Some people out there think that theirs is the best, but mine is going to be the absolute best. Check out this big cooling kit, guys. So we put this together to keep this 330D cool, because look at the size of that turbo. Our intake temperatures are going to go through the roof. Anyway, guys, enough about this girl. Check out this beautiful Range Rover Classic that is older than me.
This is Cerberus. The customer wanted me to give him a really funky mud flap idea to go with these titanium pipes. So we came up with this triple layer design in stainless steel. How cool are they? And as much as I love the big V8s, I love these 200 TDIs. These engines have been around longer than me. I just love them. They go together so easily, they're simple, and they just last forever. This one here is gonna be for sale. This is our very first great engine. I'll be sad to see it go because it's it's like an ornament really in the workshop and it looks amazing. This silver one here, we've just put a brand new master chassis into this car, basically proofing this car for another 10 years, maybe longer. So we fitted new diffs, new axle shafts, we fitted new CV joints, and it's just past the tip. This car is going to Matt, it's new owner. He hasn't even seen the car yet, so we can't wait for him to basically get his hands on this machine. This car, a couple of weeks ago, was used on a super dry advert that is yet to be out there. We can't wait to see the pictures of those, so it's gonna be super exciting when that advert comes out. How did they choose you? So this car was spotted on our social media feed. They gave us a call and said, Dave, please, 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 can we have this car for our campaign? Because it just screams everything about their spring and summer range. This is Legacy. We gave this car the name Legacy because it's got a beautiful story behind it. It belonged to a chap that was 65 years old, that's not with us anymore. So we restored this car with our own money and then we put it up for sale. We love the Keswick colour, so we decided to go with this beautiful gloss Keswick. We gave it a beautiful interior. Check this out. We mix it up with a bit of Harris Tweed. We gave this car some nice little teak touches. If you want to check out the centre cubby. We also gave it the electronic handbrake. Basically this car, I didn't want to have like chunky things in there. I didn't want it to make it look cumbersome. I wanted it to carry beautiful lines, you know, like you would with clothing. And in the back, we gave it the two up, two down conversion. So the same seats in the front, but in the back. So in the back guys, we gave this car a beautiful wooden deck. Check how gorgeous that is. On the back, we gave it some nice optimal goodies in the form of a reversing camera. Everything on this car is stainless steel. All the fixings are stainless steel. We machine these little brass pins here just to be that extra bit nice. So under the bonnet, it's got a 4.2 litre turbo diesel Toyota engine. This engine originated in the Land Cruiser. And for all of you that know that Land Cruisers is the most reliable truck in the world. Loved in the Middle East, loved in Australia. The guy actually installed this engine before we got it. So we basically revamped it, give it a little fuel upgrades, tweak the injectors a little bit, put a bigger table on, of course. So check that out. So we mix this interior up a little bit, something new. And what we love about this is you drop your phone on here, wireless charging. Mod cons in a totally retro mod looking car. How about that? This is gonna be one of our standard thing on our builds is this 12 volt handbrake. It's just so neat, simple, push button, light comes on your dash, handbrake's on, handbrake's off. We gave him some USB ports with a modern USB connection for the modern phones. We gave him a double DIN head unit. This car has had our stage two audio upgrade. Sounds fantastic. So, smiles, smiles, guys. <laughs> our own comfort springs that we've developed in-house. It's running sport anti-roll bars, just to basically give this car that cutting edge handling. So it can keep up there with the sporty looks, sporty stance, and also you can have a bit of fun. We wrap this car in BF Goodrich KM3 tires. We love these tires. Anything BF Goodrich is just top class. These rims have been banded. So we stretch these rims from an eight inch rim to a 10 inch rim. We want this car to have stance, character, 
just a match of everything. Legacy is all about attitude, memory of the old chap that used to own it, because he sure did have attitude. And we just love them. So this is my Defender 90. I've owned this car for nearly three years now and I've been slacking the last 12 months due to the COVID pandemic. So I've decided to get myself into cycling. So today we've also got Joe here building a bike that is matching my Defender. Check this out. Hey up Joe. All right Dave. Wow, that does look awesome. Lovely, isn't it? So I wonder if they use the same compound on these as they do on these. Hey Joe, I've got one hell of a shock for you, mate. It is a shock, but I don't think that's going to fit. <laughs> So there's no going back now. Now I've got the matching bike. There you so go, Dave. Cheers, Joe. Thank All you right, very much, mate. Cheers. How awesome does this look, guys? Black and grey, just like the truck. <laughs>